fifth vendor and premium change for 2014, Mr. Beal. And Mr. Chairman, we do, we do have two particular items here. If it's okay, I'd like to just go ahead and start with by addressing the first one, the health benefit vendor change for 2014. Uh, we went through a uh, PowerPoint yesterday and we discussed uh, uh, the third party administrator that we've had since uh, 2004, which is Group Resources. We knew in an effort to be as efficient and effective as possible with the monies that were provided, that we wanted to go ahead and shop that in the market to go ahead and see if there's any competitors that could compete with the renewals we've been receiving for the last several years. Our, the McCart Group, our health benefits uh, broker, uh, did just that. Uh, they, they ran an RFP on our behalf. They received back uh, at least five potential ven vendors. Um, the proposals came from Aetna, Coventry, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Georgia, United Healthcare, as well as group resources in their renewal process. Of course, we wanted to make sure we were comparing apples to apples, so we used the uh, utilization that we've had for the last uh, 15 to 18 months, so everybody was on the even playing field when they, uh, we evaluated it. We evaluated costs, which are made up of administrative fees and uh, stop loss insurance, as well as variable costs when it comes to medical and RX claims. Um, basically, the results of the uh, bid analysis itself showed uh, the lowest expected cost coming from using the Blue Cross Blue Shield of Georgia network with the Paragon as administrator. As you know, the uh, uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield network in, in our area was determined to have the most significant savings. Um, we do have a, uh, a spreadsheet on the last slide that does show our, uh, our, our current utilization for uh, group resources. Uh, as we discussed yesterday, um, Expected coming into this year is uh, column one, and through nine months, you can see the total plan cost at the bottom there. Um, column number two is what we have actually spent to date on claims cost. And of course, column three is uh, projecting out what we've actually done thus far, and uh, those are the totals. The renewal for next year with group resources that we received, as you can see, came in at 5.5 million. But the, uh, when we shopped the, uh, the plan around, we did receive the best uh, combination with Paragon and Blue Cross Blue Shield at 4.6. Are there any questions? Do we have any questions for Mr. B? Mr. Bills, does this begin January 1st of this approval? Yes, sir. <coughs> my, <coughs> my question is, uh, in the event that uh, an employee decides to participate in the wellness program for 2014, uh, do they uh, do their rate go back down in 2016? Um, basically, with the wellness program, which is separate from this, um, individuals who do participate will earn their earn their requirements or meet their requirements during the year, and the following year receive the benefit of some sort of reduction. So they have to complete the wellness program in itself follow the rules and regulations that have been set up, as we've talked about, it's not that strenuous. And then the following year, they receive a, a reduction in their premium. Okay, so basically, they're eligible for it to go back down. Uh, as soon, yes, with the new requirements of the following year, if they participate. Commissioner, uh, what we would do would be to evaluate next year what the recommendation for the rate would be, and those who participate in the wellness program would be given whatever that break would be. So it would not be correct to say that someone this year who had an increase would go back to the rate uh, that the beneficiary of the wellness program is this year, unless that is the rate that is established by the commission, if they agreed to that. Okay. <clears throat> I was mainly concerned with it because I, I do, I did, I wasn't aware that we did not um, have an additional fee for those who smoke. And I was just thinking, what if you're a smoker and you attend a wellness program all year long and you're gonna receive this discount, but you're still practicing something that uh, causes high blood pressure, uh, hypertension and cancer and so forth. I understand, right now we currently do not have an additional charge with, within our uh, policy itself. Um, most of our util utilization is shown uh, uh, other types of diseases and whatnot high cholesterol, other blood pressure items and stuff that has actually uh, been the most experienced when it came to our, our cost claims. But it's not that we cannot examine that for future years, yes. Okay, any other questions? All right, commissioners, I'll entertain a motion. 
Mr. Chairman, <clears throat> I we, need to, question. we need to, Mr. Chairman, I'm sorry, do we need to address the vendor and the premium change separately? Depends on the motion. We can okay. address it as the as it as it is as it's presented, or break it out if you prefer to do that. I'm sorry, Mr. Page. Page, I make the motion that we choose Paragon as the uh, third party vendor as presented by Mr. Fields, and appreciate him trying to save the county money because we notice the difference with the current company we were with. It'd be five point. Uh, Five, over 5.5 .5 million and we're cutting the cost down to 4.68 million. So, thank you. And that's my motion to go with Paracom. Okay, so you're going, we will address the plan. Address premium change in a separate motion. Okay. I thought we could, right. it'd be easier for us to, to break it up this way. Okay, that'd be good. All right, we have a motion to approve Paragon as the vendor. Is there any discussion? I'll second the motion. I'm sorry. Thank you very much for that. We have a second now. Now, are there any, any other discussion? Hearing none, we'll call the vote. All in favor of the motion, signify by aye. 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 Any opposed, line sign. Hearing none, that motion carries.